Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how we can use Flutter's widget inspector in order to inspect the widgets in a screen in Flutter app. So for this you need to have Android Studio installed because currently Visual Studio Code doesn't have this facility but it's a future progress or it's a future enhancement for those guys. Uh, so on right hand side you can see the Android Studio with two options flutter outline and flutter inspector and on the left hand side you can see the emulator so let's click on the flutter inspector so th there you can see the widget tree of this left hand side app it's a simple app so there are certain options on available on top of this inspector so let's go ahead one by one the first is the toggle select widget mode this means Clicking on this allows us to select any widget on this app. Say this. Now after clicking on this, I get to see the below side, what is it actually using the widget and on the upside, what is the default primary, what is the default structure of this widget in the whole Flutter app. So on now, if I want to click on this floating action button, say, I will click on this and again click on this okay so this says floating action button and some internal properties of this button uh, also if you want to select either you can go for selecting this option or there is a search icon here on which selecting this will allow us to select any widget similar to the this one this option so let's click on this so, this search icon comes I click on this suppose I want to click on this so it says rich text same same feature as for this flutter toggle select widget mode or the search icon here so next next is the refresh widget info so this means like in the flutter we have a provision of hot reload but this flutter inspector does not takes in account of the latest changes which we done using the hot reload so for that you need to simply refresh the widget example say if you change this text and if you want to uh, select this widget you won't be able to see the latest changes but you got you can just simply by clicking on this refresh so next next is the toggle debug paint so on clicking of this we can see that what is the outlines of this text or the widget say suppose the floating action button the icon in that floating action button the text the counter text that header so this is basically for us to see the outlines of different widgets and what are their reaches in the particular app or the particular screen so next is this is one of the most good features of this flutter widget inspector this allows us to toggle platform means currently your app is running in the ios simulator but what if you want to see this app in android simulator simply you can just click on this toggle platform mode okay now as you can see the difference again switching to ios so you can see my text was in the center in the iOS simulator but when I clicked on this it turned to Android and Android shows my text or my title on the left hand side which is the default behavior of Android. So this you can see your app in both iOS as well as Android simulators by using this toggle platform mode. So next, next is performance overlay. Click on this it shows a graph means if our app is currently running in the 60 frames per second so currently it's not moving so it moves using or animations or navigation or when button selects or simply user action events this graph you can see moving clicking on floating motion action button should definitely make it move as you can see here it also gives us the number of frames 27.5 milliseconds per frame which is acceptable same effect you can see it here in the performance tab clicking on this you can see 
also it gives us what is the default usage of the app being used memory kind of stuff again switching back So next, these two are for the Dart observatories. If we click on this, it opens a URL and it shows us the timeline dashboard for the Dart VM observatory, which is uh, currently I'm not able to display. Need to dig it deep into this. So next, same, this also runs the observatory in the local host. And some hidden options here. I will click on this. Let me adjust this. Okay. So some hidden options here show paint baselines. Clicking on this, it allows us to see what is our text baseline. Say this green line stands. What is its? How? What is its baseline? As in, how is it rendered on a horizontal level you can see this green line button pushed and for yellow line the entire widget and for the text line the green line similarly for the icon here and for the text here basically it can be used in whenever there is a cross axis alignment of baselines or text alignment baselines you can just take into consideration using this show paint baselines next Next is hide debug mode banner. So currently you can see there, this has the debug banner. If I click on this hide, it should disable it or it should hide it. Okay, it does. So next, enable repaint rainbow. So this, after enabling it, I need to just hot restart. And this will show me the container of the app so this is the container of the app the whole yellow screen and on this this screen is rendered so you can use this for your app sick so next enable show slow animations this is basically currently I've enabled it but there is no navigation here or no animation here so otherwise if i would have some navigation or animation it would have shown me in a slow manner and auto horizontal scroll so this is for whenever we have say a row with horizontal text or something it should enable us to scroll horizontally auto automatically and so currently I don't have anything so I can't show you guys. So basically these are all the functionalities which Flutter Inspector provides us to know or reach our scales in this area which is currently uncovered. And you can also go ahead and check the talks by the Broding Flutter show here in the link below. So that's it from this video guys. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel, like, comment. Thank you.